Hi everyone, today I'll be reviewing this movie. It is on Netflix called Alexander and it is starring Colin Farrell, Angelina Jolie, Belle Kilmer, Jared Leto and this movie is directed by Oliver Stone. So when I saw the little teaser on Netflix, this movie is going to drop on Netflix and it is going to starring Colin Farrell, Jared Leto, Angelina Jolie. When I saw this cast for this movie, I was really excited. So I had no idea what this movie is about. Uh, this movie is based on Alexander the Gate, and in this movie you see Alexander how he rise to the top of the, like how he I guess conquer in this movie many countries. Uh, but after that, how he also this movie try to show you how he fails uh, from that like up uh, uprising to how he fell down. So in this movie I had no idea Angelina Jolie is playing Colin Farrell's mom in this movie. When I saw that, I'm like oh my god. That is ridiculous when I was watching it. I was like, oh my god, what am I watching? That's such a disappointing casting Angelina Jolie to play Colin Farrell mom. Like, I, I think they are same age if I'm not wrong. That was really ridiculous when I was watching it. Uh, although Angelina Jolie, she had many pets in this movie, all this snake. Uh, I was thinking, oh, are they going to play a major part in this movie? Unfortunately, her snakes do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it, these are Angelina and Julie, her own pets, I think. The way she was around all the snake. Oh my god, you're gonna give it to her. Like, she was really good uh, with all those snakes. I personally, I was freaking out. Because snakes, they freaks me out. Uh, in this movie, I thought uh, overall this movie is definitely mixed back. So all the people on Rotten Tomato, they're saying. This movie sitting on 16%. It is right in a way, but there is some good part in this movie when you watch it. It's not all bad, but there is some part definitely you are like, oh, uh, my biggest problem with this movie is like, because you know Alexander is going to be played by Colin Farrell, but unfortunately this movie like starts with such a happy, like you spend a lot of his time in his childhood. Like I think first half an hour, if I'm not, I was waiting for him to grow up, do some grown up stuff. But in this movie, you actually see him, like his child. This movie tried to show you from his childhood to all the way to his teenager years to... It's too much you spend his childhood. You don't need that, especially when you know he's going to conquer the world. So you're waiting here uh, for him to, you know, get on it. <laughs> that is said, uh, I had no idea. Uh, like, although many people are saying online, that is why many people didn't like this movie. Because in this movie, you see... Like Alexander, he's actually closet gay person. Like, uh, like he has this relationship with Gerard Leto's character. By the way, Gerard Leto in this movie, how he looked so beautiful when I was watching it. Like his eyes, his makeup, he looks like he looked like a beautiful, like you know, oh, I don't know what to say. Uh, he he really looked like he was in love with Colin Farrell. So uh, these two actors, I thought they had really good chemistry. When I think about the story they are going for, I was really shocked how good they were in this movie. Uh, although uh, many people said that they, many people are not liking this movie because this movie they showed him like he's a closet gay. But if you think about the movie, it, uh, it took place in that time. Maybe or who knows, you know, I'm not here. I'm going to comment on that because like uh, to me, it didn't bother me. At first I was like, oh, is he like in love with the Gerard Leto's character? Yeah, he is in this movie. Uh, then of course he get married Rosary Dawson. So I thought Rosary Dawson actually the small part she had, she was really good. She was this fierce lady or feisty <laughs> fighting with him. And <laughs> She actually poisoned Gerard Leto in this movie. So, you know, <laughs> I was like, oh my God, she's really good in this movie, Lozoy Dawson. That means that I did not like the Angelina Jolie's character she was playing. What was she even going for in this movie? Which is not her fault by any mean. The movie, what was it going for? That means that this movie storytelling is absolutely awful, as I was saying. I did not like the way this movie structured the story it's really very stretched out like crazy stretched out when you watch it you don't need 40 minutes of him growing up you don't need so 40 minutes of him doing nothing all this thing really they stretch out a lot and all the important things like the political political thing which you do need when you are conquering the world this movie like brush over like that i'm like <laughs> those are the important things you cannot brush over like that uh 
that is a why like i feel like this movie's biggest problem in storytelling is really very useless when you watch it you're like oh uh, I wouldn't say this movie was uh, like a complete waste of time. I thought uh, Colin Farrell, he was good in some scene. Some scene he wasn't that good. Uh, maybe that's how the script was and the director, that is what he was going for. Overall, this movie definitely mixed back for me. It was a waste of my time as I was saying here. I was really shocked how good Gerard Leto was. That is like, ooh. <laughs> anyway, that's my thought on this movie. It was interesting watch for me. Like I watched it last night. I was like, ooh, it was definitely interesting. <laughs> but it definitely wasn't what I was like, hoping for. Uh, but you know, that's how it was. That's why it was a huge flop at the box office. And that was my thought on this movie. Let me know in the comment. What do you think about this movie? If you enjoyed my review, don't forget to check out my other reviews on Netflix movie. Please subscribe and take care.